Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by and watching our video today. I'm Steve. And I'm Gary. And uh, today we're going to talk to you about the autoplay settings on your computer. Now, if you've ever just put a disk in your computer or plugged in a flash drive, you probably know what I'm talking about. When you plug something in, by default, without making any selections, Windows is going to come up and with a little box and it's going to say, what do you want to do with this device you plugged in? Well, today we're going to show you how you can kind of change that around. Right. If you find that box is as annoying and irritating as I do, you're going to really want this tip because you can actually say, hey, anytime I put a CD in, I want Windows Media Player to go ahead and play it. Or if I put a DVD in, I want this program or that program to go ahead and do something with it. And uh, let's turn the computer and I'm going to show you how to set that up right now. All right. The first thing you need to do is get to the autoplay settings. And to do that, you just hit the start button there and type in autoplay. Hit enter and up pops the autoplay options box and from this box this is where you set everything like let's say I have an audio CD and, and right now it would ask us to choose a default so I can say gee I want this to play in uh, Windows Media Player uh, maybe Power Cinema we have on this I could copy the CD using Nero whatever I normally do with an audio CD I could set that as a default and then I avoid that little pop-up screen and you can do this for everything you see here there's audio CDs DVD movies uh, pictures you name it, it's on here. And you can also have it take the action of asking you every time, which is kind of handy if you do multiple things. Or, my favorite is actually to take no action. When I put it in there, I kind of know what I want to do, so maybe I don't want the computer automatically doing anything for me. But the point is, you can pick whatever you like from these, and once you have made your selections, you can go through all these boxes, there's a whole bunch of them that go down here. Uh, but once you've made all your selections, simply hit save, and that's it. So there you have it. That's how to change your autoplay settings. So that way you don't have Windows bugging you every time you plug something in. Or in that case, if you want it to bug you, you can have that happen too. Um, all you gotta do is go through those settings. You can say, you know, if I want only all my audio CDs to play in iTunes, or I want everything I insert that just has pictures on it to open the picture viewer, all these options are available to you and they're easy to set. Well, that's about it for our tip today. We appreciate you stopping by and watching our video. Make sure you stop over at uh, worldstart.com and sign up for our computer tips newsletter if you're not already on it. If you have any questions for us, we'd love to hear from you. worldstart.com slash ask. That's how these videos are created from your questions. And uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you sign up there. And I think that covers it. Have a good day.